hello. It's Private Talk Podcast with Alexis Texas, and we are back season three, and I am very excited to have my next guest for the Private Talk After Dark episode, Miss Samantha Saint on the couch. Hey. Hello. Welcome, Miss Samantha Saint. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming on the Private Talk couch. I'm excited. It's been a long time since I've seen your beautiful face. You know, even though with the pandemic, even then I don't even remember the last time I've actually seen you. So I feel like you've been hiding under a rock. I wanted to get that rock and push it aside and let Private Talk listeners and your fans as well know what you've been up to, what's been going on with you, what's all the new stuff, the bad stuff, the great stuff. What do you have going on? A lot of things. Um, It has been a long time since I've seen you. Yeah, so. I feel like it, I want to say at least I'll say safely five years. Absolutely. At least, but it's like I feel that's a safe number. Yeah, that's pretty but, spot on. Yeah, I would say since I've kind of um, removed myself from the industry for a little bit, it's probably been about 2015. I think. Okay, so you say removed yourself. Does that mean that you actually officially retired? You just moved away? You like just stopped doing anything? Like what does removed mean to private talk listeners out there? To private talk listeners out there, I had an incident. Um, a hookah fell over onto me. Uh, things were great. I was fresh out of a contract with Wicked. I was excited, looking to shoot with multiple companies and you know, after one of the award shows, I went to a hookah lounge. The hookah fell on me. I got really badly burned. Uh, so it kind of put my career on pause. It's not, it was not planned. you like burned your like lady parts? Like- well, I wasn't wearing underwear. So the hookah was, the couch was lower than the table. Say so this is the table. Okay. The table's higher up. Huge hookah, way too many people around. It got entangled on someone's foot. I don't know. There's a lot going on. Fell over onto me. The embers like fell into my crotch area, little lady bits. And then I went to adjust myself and the huge coal actually ended up underneath my ass. Oh, Third degree burns. No. It was awful. I ended up at the burn unit downtown actually like for debridement on my ass. So yeah, if you notice that now uh, on my butt, that's what happened. So it's scarred. I'm assuming oh, this yeah. is why. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, it just put me in a situation um, to take a step back and kind of reevaluate. I knew that I always wanted to have a family and do that, but it was never the right time. Like I was always busy and dancing and traveling. Cause and you were, you were currently, you were married when you were in the business prior to. So it's not like you yeah. didn't have like a family per se, but you wanted to do the family life. Right. I knew so that I like, always wanted that, but putting it into place and actually making your career it first too. And you like, yeah, you know, like it's fast paced. It's you're stuff young, kept stuff coming up stuff. and like, I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to travel here. And it just was never quite the perfect time. So is that why you, is that what you did during your break? I did. Yeah. Okay. I decided to get my IUD taken out and you know, I had a nice little bandage on my ass and hopped on top and got pregnant the first try. So hey, I just have to believe it was that, meant uh, to be. It was you know? meant to be. Everything happens for yeah. a reason. It's unfortunate that you had to yeah. burn to like in those things. But yeah. you know, I'm a believer of like things are you know things happen for a reason. Absolutely. I mean? And it's you know it's unfortunate. Obviously, like I said, the, the incidents of how severe mm-hmm. it would go through. But sometimes we need a pause button. Unfortunately, like the yeah. pandemic or like whatever things like that that kind of made people kind of sit still to kind of evaluate what was going yeah. on. My personal life was definitely I. Think I think it's fair to say that it was off balance and I think that happening brought everything back you, into balance so it's was definitely that because you were in the industry did your husband think, not like you being in the industry or oh, what, that what was that off that wasn't it at all I think I just we neither of us realized that how off balance giving, it to it, it really was like he was so focused on work and I was so focused on mine so y'all weren't giving to each other you were just right we were existing just and doing like our doing. thing and grinding out that LA life you yeah. know like you get caught up in it sometimes and it not saying that it was a bad thing or a bad phase in our life but I'm very grateful for what happened and how it happened even though it took a couple of years to see it that way you know there's a bigger plan so it it for sure. It's well, fun. I'm happy for you. That's, yeah. you know, it's, um, uh, it's sometimes you see people go away. You don't know what's going on, but she's not like you definitely like went away, especially social media. You can't really like disappear of sorts. Cause <laughs> yeah. people really start to think like, yeah. Oh, is she alive? Like, yeah, I'm alive. I'm just yeah, living I'm my life kind of thing. Yeah. But you know, it, it's cool to see the evolution and like the growth of like seeing you from five years ago, let's say. And like to now is I feel like sometimes, and not that you weren't a humble person. I just think that, um, with life and chaotic and like being in the business and being so new to things as well mm-hmm. as sometimes 
you don't know what direction it's going. Totally. So it's just like, you're just kind of go whichever one. Yeah. You know, and sometimes it's, here, it's good, good and sometimes it's, it's bad and yeah. sometimes it's just, it's nothing. It's just lessons of what it is. But you know, that's, that's cool. Sometimes we need a little step back moment to kind of get what it is. Yeah. But again, it doesn't take away your sexy, you're still beautiful yeah. mom, you know, and, and all those things is that now it's like, you're still furthering your career. So you're doing, what are you actively doing? Are you shooting movies again? Are you only working for yourself? What are you currently doing? Well, I, you know, I think it's taken some time to, um, I don't know what the right word, words to say, I guess it's like to accept being a mom and still being able to be sexual and it not being a shameful thing. It's taken some time to realize that I'm still am. So has that been an issue for you? Uh, yeah, I think in my own mind, just trying to navigate who I am as that new person or that new role and um, being comfortable in my skin and, you know, growing in ways that, you know, you haven't seen your body do that before. So it's mm -hmm. just different and learning to love yourself all over again. I feel like I had to get to that place where I was comfortable in my own skin before I can you, make myself vulnerable again that like place? that. Just time. And I think really focusing on um, my mental health and my well-being and taking care of myself. Yoga is a huge part of my life too. And just awesome. being physically fit and taking care of my body. And that helps up here and return I feel good here and yeah. then I can make everyone feel good here <laughs> literally <laughs> and figuratively all yeah. at the same time no that's good you know? I mean it's awareness you know what I mean for me Absolutely. it's like I myself if you know doing you know self-work it's like I say embodiment work as well for myself it's like we're always evolving as humans as we right. get older and things that we've had in the past and things we want to deal with things that we don't want to deal with but it's also about figuring out our place like what's right. next what am I I'm, what am I going to do what am I comfortable doing you know because myself too is I, you know, I was married at one time and I wanted a family and I wanted those things, but I also too is the struggle of what do I feel comfortable coming back in the camera? Am right. I going to feel comfortable coming back in the camera? Right. All those things you just don't know until you're actually in it, but now you're in it. So it's like, you know, at the same time, it's like, you just have to do the same things. You love yourself. You know, yeah. you're still the same person, you know, having, you're just more of, um, you know, more of a loving person because yeah. you have these, you know, beautiful children that you have and that you produce and knowing that you're such a strong woman and that you can do anything if you've given birth to people. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's a big Seriously. accomplishment. You know what I mean? Yeah. So kudos to you. Thank you know what I mean? Like that's a big thing. A lot of people don't realize what that really is is you're, you're bringing life to the world you know what I mean and and not to you know go overboard but it's just one of those things that you forget how beautiful of a thing that is right you know what I mean yeah. and it's just like pouring love back into yourself yeah you know? yeah so I you know now I'm actually a mama too this is um you know, a new chapter as well. But I figure, I feel like after the second pregnancy, I was able to embrace it more. I knew more what to expect. You know what was going on. Like you knew what your body yeah. kind of had done, what you could do, like yeah. what's going on. And it was harder to get pregnant the second time too. So I don't know if that's what took. Um, you couldn't just hop on and just get, get it done this time, girlfriend? No, I had to go through IVF and it was a whole thing. And that was actually during um, COVID. And, you know, it was, it was a big deal and a big struggle. Uh, and once it finally happened, you know, it was a huge accomplishment. So it's like you appreciate it yeah. even more. The reward so. is so yeah. much bigger than like, you know, what happened. Yeah. So, um, you know, just accomplishing all of those things and then being so happy to finally be pregnant. Like you really, truly appreciate it. And now like I am working on my body and I feel good. I'm like, wait, I'm still that sexual person. Mm. She's still here too. And she, so mama, I, mama still needs to get <laughs> fucked. Okay. Mama, <laughs> mama likes being a dirty mommy. So, you know, slutty mommy. <laughs> Hey, I like it. When the kids go, you know, to sleep, oh, yeah. slutty mommy comes to play. Hey, yeah. I like it. Zaddy, come get it. So, yeah. That's you know, awesome. Well, thank you for all that sharing mm -hmm. for that. I mean, that's also something new for you as well, yeah. I'm sure. And so it's, you know, it's one of those things that people need to talk more about because it, it's it's your it's your journey. Yeah. And there's nothing that you can do about it other than just go through it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's awesome to kind of like see those boundaries of what you're allowing yourself to do and like the levels of continuing to. You're still, you know, you can still do a career. You can still have right. the things that you want to do. So what is your comfort level of what is going on in your OnlyFans? Are you working for other active companies or is it just OnlyFans? Um, right now, I've only been focusing on my OnlyFans. I feel like I have control of those yeah. angles and my body and what mm -hmm. the viewers see, but I definitely have goals within the industry still. I'm not the performer that's like, you know, I only want to do OnlyFans. I miss mm -hmm. shooting for yeah. companies. I miss the glitz and the glam of all of it, to yeah. be honest, you know, I'm sure you for understand. Sure. I definitely understand for me. It's like, you know, I definitely haven't been in the industry. I haven't shot film in, in at least four or five years, but with the same thing being said, it's, it's not too hard to understand the, the level of what I was it's for me is if I was in the same situation as you and me wanting to shoot, you know, for me, I'm just evolved and what I'm doing something sure. now differently. But in the same thing is, 
I miss this. I, I liked being for other, you know, um, with other companies as well, because, you know, they not only lift you up and get you other things, it's more awareness. And Absolutely. I liked having, you know, I was contracted. You liked having that, like the, like, um, the responsibility for certain, you know, like not for yourself cause you always do, but you know, just for another person's work. You yes. know I mean that they, yeah. Well, they hype you up. Yeah, they like yeah. rely on you to be like you're representing something, and you know it's cool, it's fun, and I definitely had enjoyed my career, and I didn't get really the, the contract thing until later on, and uh, kind of thing. But for me, it's like the ev- like every step that I took was definitely I wouldn't take it back at all. Right, absolutely. Um, you know what I mean? So if I had was going in now, and OnlyFans was such a big thing, I think I still too would still be doing that as well because yeah. it's just something that I feel like kind of fuels your brand as well and keeps your the momentum of what you're like that choo choo train keep going. Put all your eggs in multiple baskets and multiple not, trains not just this one. train I want all the trains <laughs> you're gonna get train choo, city choo, choo, baby. train 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 yeah so I, I mean I definitely have goals for myself too I um you know I've been in penthouse I've been in hustler I had to turn down penthouse pet of the year and I still Still makes me sad. Why did you have to uh, turn it down? I had literally signed with Wicked the day before they offered it to me. Mm, yeah, that's that's one of those things where it's like contracts are great, but then you're like, fuck, yeah, like, what did I do? If I would have done it yeah. one day before. You literally know, the next like day. It was either the day of or the very next day. And I was like, no. Hey, but that's always coming way. back. You still can do it, I would love too. to. I would love to. For I sure. just, I like so the is titles. That a, is I that like a goal? Those, mm-hmm. So what are other, some accolades out there? Let's start manifesting and throwing okay. them out there, Samantha. Let's do it. Let's do it together. I would love to shoot for Penthouse, the magazine again. I just, I've always loved getting the covers, the centerfolds. I've, you know, done quite a bit for Hustler as Listen well. Listen up, Penthouse. This is what she wants. Penthouse and Hustler. I want to do those again. Get more covers and centerfolds. Um... I really enjoy hosting like expos, sex expos, like all that kind of stuff, like being with the people, mm-hmm. seeing them face to face, doing the conventions. Um, and so you want to sh- sign at conventions or you yeah. want to? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I miss all that interaction with our fans. Mm-hmm. I do. Yeah. So, so there's nothing, there's not that I mean that's very easily attainable to do. Yeah. It's just wanting to get yourself out there too. You know what yeah. I mean? It's like now ripping off the band aid. Cause like yeah. right now it's like, for me, it's like, I loved all those things great too, but I'm a little terrified to go into a convention sure. right now. It's, sure. I'm very personable with my fans and I don't want them to think that I don't like them cause I love them. Mm-hmm. But I also want to be like, I don't know where you've been and I don't yeah. know what's going on or <laughs> yeah. where I've got questions and it's maybe true. after a tequila too, I won't, but right now <laughs> I have a question, <laughs> yeah. but you know, the, all those things that's where it's like, I, so I just don't want to put myself in that yet until yeah. it, you know, for myself, you know, that's, so that's the thing. It's like, yeah. you easily could do that. You know, you have a, you know, a name in this industry, people know who you are. Your fans would be mm-hmm. lining up at your booth I as well. So. I mean, girl, you have an OnlyFans now. People are have subscriptions. Yeah. I'm sure, you know, don't count yourself out. I think that people, you know, sometimes because you've been maybe stepped away a little bit, maybe not realize that, but they're definitely there. You just got to wake them up and be like, hey, this bitch is here, okay? This yeah, sexy bitch is here. here. She's back. She's better than ever. You have a new, you know, set an outlook on things. That doesn't mean that you're not as sexy as you were before. I'm, I'm you're in just a little bit more tamed. Right now. You're a little bit more tamed sexy. <laughs> is you know it? Okay. Mean? Yeah, now I'm officially a MILF, so. MILF City. So is that the title on there? Is is that what you want to, like, target, that MILF thing? Should I? I mean, what else am I going to be? I'm not a little teen bopper. I mean, I'm a I'm a this is milk true. Mama. You can't be like, <laughs> you're not. Def- I mean, I like it. I yeah. mean, that's just I'm just saying. But like, you know, there's people who come back and go for that thing only. Maybe that should yeah. that should be your comeback. Maybe try yeah. to look to be the the Miss Cougar of the year. Yeah, I'm all about it. Let's do it. I really want to campaign <laughs> here at Private Talk after yeah. dark. We hear Samantha saying we're going to. You know, we're going to campaign for Cougar of the Year. I don't Cougar know. of the Year. Is that I, even, we're going to make we're it We're going to make thing. this. If not, we're going to have Twerk Towers. We're going to come up with our own awards. <laughs> we won't be biased, but we'll have other nominees, hopefully. She's, I'm the only one in the category, so I'm definitely going to win. No, but I think that that's not a bad thing, especially if you're yeah. embracing it where you are. You know what I mean? People grow up, and you've had, you know, two years isn't a horror, I mean, like a big gap of time, but for you where you're in your life is. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because people... People are MILFs that are MILFs on the uh, movies that aren't even MILFs. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I've got like, that title before I had kids. It's like, wait a second, what? I, d- I didn't have see, to that's say why for, <laughs> like, This what? is why for me, the, the title and labeling really irks me. So I'm like, but if you're all in, then you're all in. Because yeah. like with Lisa Ann, Lisa Ann did a thing where she when she came back, she was like, the milk, like it was a milk thing. Julia sure. and the same way where it was, a, it was different parts of her, their career, which was cool. Cause it was a different brand. You know what yeah. I mean? So that's why I was like, if that's the embrace angle, what I am, you know, let's go milf, for it. Milf city. Let's yes. do it. I, I really want to shoot for Jules again too. I love him. So. Julie Candyman. Mm. I'm sure, I'm sure you have his number. Tell him he'll do it. 
Yeah, I was texting with him earlier. So. Yeah, he'll totally do it. Candy Man is like, I call Candy Man for this. <laughs> They probably hate me for why telling did you, this. Why did you because. get that nickname? Let's see. Because have you ever looked in his fridge? He's like he's like Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. He likes every chocolate. He's from Hershey, Pennsylvania, That's and gets right. her in Hershey right. bars sent in to him. Like, how more richy rich can you be? Like, <laughs> I just true. he's one of my favorite humans. We're actually like we have the same birthday, so That's we're like right. the female male version of each other. I feel like Perfect. I'm the more manly one, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but but in ways of like like how we are like why he lets me pick on him I'm like I'm like we're it's very playful but he's he's a great human but yeah he's de- definitely him. it always he's like ahead of his time where it's like he knows what sells and you obviously yes. which you sell you were at his booth before you had a fucking big ass picture I was up there too girl like girl you, we were blown up hey, I loved it like Julie that's what lo- I missed that Julie great. likes you know like to please the ladies Let's go back. I have a lot of names. It's Candyman, Julie. <laughs> <laughs> What's no, just, funny is like for me is like when I've been around industry girls because Jules Jordan, for those that you don't know who Candyman is, <laughs> aka White Chocolate, aka Julie. But so I would be around like the people and the girls and I'd be like, you talk to Jules like that? Oh my God. And I'm like, yeah, because he's just a person too. Like he yeah. puts his pants on every single day, just like we do. And he's actually cool as shit. If you he's talk cool to him, shit. like Love he's him. not like some God, the sex God. And I'm like, yeah, he fucks good. Yeah. yeah I was like, get the it. dick is good though. Yes. So all of it's fun. great. But that's what I'm saying. But yeah. that's why. But I'm just like, yeah. I treat people like people treat me. And he's always been like hella cool. So I always fuck with him and he, yeah. he lets me. So yeah. tap, 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 busy back to work, Julie. Cause I know you're peeping in and here. Cause you know, Always. Yes, but yes, I definitely like. I mean, I definitely don't shoot, but I definitely would be on stage and be like a fluffer. I'll be like, you know, the yes. old school. I'll be like, I just want to watch, you know. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were gonna get in there. I was like, oh, I mean, yeah. I'll fluff you on the side. That's what fluffers are, you know, yeah. on the side. I'll help you out all day long. But you. you know, I help me or him or you. both. Okay. Just you, just okay. you. I'm, I'm just biasly on you. I don't even. Okay. Know, we don't even know who's in the scene yet. Oh, I thought we were talking about Jules. Oh well, we don't know if he's directing it or if he's in it. But in you, it. you know what I mean? He, yeah, no, no, too. no. Okay. But yeah, but yes, I'm all, I'm all for it. I'm definitely yeah. sign me up, Julie. I'm there. For you heard it here. She is going to be my official fluffer. Yes, I love it. Let's see. One thing about men that always you think they always fuck up relationships. What do you think you could label one thing? Do you think like men just what? Um, probably like having secrets and not being truthful. Like even over so stupid like liars. shit. Yeah. They're Don't all like liars. even uh, to me it's like a lie is a lie. Big or small. Just keep it truthful. What is your go-to strategy for achieving your success or goals? You talked about yoga. Do you have anything mm-hmm. else that you do, like a daily ritual that's just like something you live by that's kind of grounded you since your like two-year gap of recentering yourself? I definitely, it comes down to like just physical fitness. I feel best when I start my day with working on myself and then. Do you work out every day or is I it like. I try to. Yeah. yeah. Something. Leading up to this, I was twice a day. So I'm trying. It makes me feel a lot better, you know? Sweat at least once a day. If people came with the warning label, what would yours be? Indecisive. Or Gemini. Gemini. <laughs> Both. Flashing light. Gemini's. Gemini, we, Gemini. Gemini's have a special place in my heart. Because I'm a Gemini. We're all Gemini's here. <laughs> but yes, we are indecisive. I'm very indecisive. I think that it comes with time, though, because one thing I'm working on myself is trusting your intuition. Because somewhere Absolutely. along the line, it's like, oh, you know, we know what we want. But it's just but like it's because we have two voices. You're yeah. like, which one do I listen to? You just got to think of the first one. Yeah, yeah. But because I am Gemini, this is why I struggle with I'm like, but wait, I know there's two of me. So who's really, <laughs> who's in, who's really talking here? first? Who's talking first? <laughs> yeah. The rational one or the one who really knows what's going on? Yeah. Only you will know. <laughs> yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know. Though. That's, that's the problem. <laughs> do you have a social media weakness? probably not posting enough I mm-hmm. overanalyze okay. and like I'm like uh, I, I don't know like so even are you coming up lurking? with a clever cla- ca- cla- I can't say that clever clever caption. caption is even like overwhelming to me sometimes I'm like I don't even know what but to then why say. don't you just post a picture girl you know that's what I said earlier on my I was uh, on Instagram and like Kaylani posted on my picture and I was like I I'm just gonna stop putting a caption like I just can't I don't always do it myself. Sometimes I'm like, sometimes you just don't know. Sometimes it, maybe it motivates you. Sometimes a song comes on, you're like, oh great. Or sometimes it yeah. just doesn't like, or it's like in the moment. I'm like, can sometimes I do a different color funny. heart for like every? Picture? Yeah, that's a lot. Post. Just post that picture, girlfriend. Okay, I will. I need to work on that. Yeah, I will. So you're just lurking right now. I love to scroll. You like to scroll. Mm-hmm. Do you like what path do you like lead down? What rabbit hole do you go down to most often? Food, <laughs> food, <laughs> food, and cooking. Food. Yeah. What moment do you wish you could relive and change? 
Hmm. And change. Um, I don't know. That's a hard one. It could be anything. Anything. The shoes I put on my <laughs> feet. <laughs> the feet in my fear. I'm kidding. Um, I don't know. I, you know, I always, I had mentioned like the, the penthouse thing. I always wonder like w- how things would have played out for me if I would have chosen that path. Rather so maybe than not signing, not signing the mm-hmm. contract. I loved being with Wicked. I had great opportunities. You know, I got to host AVN and go to Sexpo in South Africa, like things like that. But what would have, have been like if it was just focused on me rather than, you know, for one year being at one company and mm-hmm. being just the main girl. I don't know. I always wonder about that. Never know. No, we'll, oh, we'll never, never know. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Tell me something that everybody talks about and hypes up that you think is highly overrated. It could be anything going on. I thought for a long time TikTok, but then I got on there and then I could like keep scrolling and get so down, like stuck down the rabbit hole. I was like, oh, this is why everyone talks about so TikTok. TikTok. See, I myself too have like, I'm like, I feel like I'm just too not in like too old. I like that. I don't want to say it, but say it. I'm yeah. just like, I don't relate, but it, it's like, I still have not, I don't, I have, have a team, I have a team out. Texas, like um, TikTok, but it's more like little things here and there. It's not me yeah. doing anything. I'm like, but where do you not fit in out that? The I'm not busting out no dances. My only dances were in strip clubs and yes. those don't exist yes. anymore. So we'll be busting it open on OnlyFans live. When TikTok <laughs> doesn't allow the dances like we know well, how to do. Well, that's the thing so. too. It was just another, after when I saw people started getting into the, in the adult industry, it was like, oh, I got banned or oh, I got deleted. Oh, I got this. And it was like, and they're not even doing anything. Yeah. So it's like, I'm like, it's just targeted. Like it's a target on your another back. Another way to be tar- was like, targeted. Yeah, for I sure. I just have too many of those already that I'm <laughs> dodging <laughs> dodging all the landmines around that i'm like leave me alone i'm trying to be safe over here and do the right <sighs> things under your guidelines please let me live tell us how you really feel i just did oh yes <laughs> Damn it. yeah it's a lot to keep up with it's uh, um it's learning a new platform it's you know a lot to keep up with a lot if you could have five physical items that you could that you could keep with you what would they be and why like like if you're on an island and you have five oh, okay. five things physically, five physical things, hmm. what would you keep or what would they be and why? I always have to wash my face before going to bed, so I would have to be on this my island. Face. You're gonna be a face <laughs> wash, okay? You have no mirror; yeah. it doesn't matter. Ocean I don't water, know. I just salt water. Got it. I just I don't know. I need it. Um, is it a specific brand? What is this brand? Yes, the Cerave foaming face wash. It's the jam. It gets rid of all your makeup and just feel gloriously clean I like so. it all right we'll item number um, two hmm chocolate like a little, it. little bit of chocolate I like you get it. hungry I out there on that <laughs> island. um probably some water I drink about a gallon a day so I'm gonna need some of that how long are we here for <laughs> do the math on this we're gonna be here for a while we're okay. gonna be here like it's under at least a year okay then I'm gonna say beer and a beer bong so Nice party, 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 party island. Hopefully I, like. I won't be there alone. Well, since we talk about party islands, we are going to get to my favorite part, which is called Truth with Texas. It's okay. a little game we like to play here at Private Talk. And at after dark episodes, we like, you know, you can just never know what's going to happen. And you, okay. just, you just you start asking questions. So I'm going to give, there's four cards. Each card is an ace. Each suit is a different type of question. And okay. we will go through these questions. Right. And you will tell me all your deep, dark secrets. Oh, boy. Don't hold back. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to take a little sip. Sip it. A little sip. Sip it, sip it, sip it. All right, Private Talk, I hope that you are liking this episode with Miss Samantha Saint. We are going to get a little bit more down and dirty. She doesn't even know it yet, but I'm not going to penetrate too hard, but I'm going to go all the way, and she's going to love it because I'm going to like it, and I'm going to give it to her nice and slow, and I'm going to warm you up really good so it's like lube but not, Mm -hmm. but I like to spit, so I'm going to just talk to you dirty until I just keep shuffling these cards until we land on something you're going to pick. Okay. All right, here we go. Go on top. All right, on top. Ace of hearts, baby. Ooh, romantic. Would you consider yourself a romantic, Miss Samantha Saint? I think so, yeah. I love love, and I love to be loved. What is the most romantic thing that you've done for a partner? <laughs> You're like, they do them for me, honey. <laughs> no, I instantly had, like, a memory come to mind. Oh, I set yes, up a very nice threesome for, was it three? 
how many, I don't remember how many people were there. I set up some of his favorite uh, female performers for his 40th birthday. It was great. So, nice. Yeah. Have you heard about this story? No, I okay. haven't, but you can tell about it. Oh, us. I don't think I can tell names. They'd probably get pissed. You don't have to tell names, oh. but you could just tell the story. Yeah, well. So how did the story <laughs> how did I the was story like, go? so babe, if you could have anybody for your 40th birthday, like, who do you want? So, you know. So that happened. Da-da-da, da-da-da. And then like, it just okay. happened. Mm. Well, I just told him. I was like. So you being, okay, you having a partner that knows that you're important and does porn, and he, like, does he, that get him off, or he just accepts it, what you do? Like, does he. Oh, loves it. Loves it. Number one cheerleader, I think. So were y'all watching porn prior together of you getting in the industry, and he already had his own, like, number, like his, like you said, his faves, his tops, or whatever? Because um, is that jealous for you, since now you're in, in the industry, you become friends with some people, and you're like, but those are my husband's favorites. Like, how do you have that conversation? I was just like, funny that those are who you ask. I'm actually friends with them. So let me, let me help you. Yeah. So let that me was help you help me. Le- yes. It yeah. was fun. So it was very memorable. It was Las Vegas. So anything goes, right? But for you, but is that, but there's, is there any qualms of like, because those were his favorites? Like, does it matter? Like, it's just I was because busy it's in the other room, <laughs> in the other room, having my fun with someone else too. So. It was free for all. It was I a like suite. It. There was plenty of room, plenty of people, and it was a good time for everybody. So have your rules changed now because you guys are parents as far as what you guys do sexually or are okay with sexually? I think that the opportunities just aren't there as much, you mm-hmm. know, so. But um, nothing's off the table. There's definitely rules. I think there definitely has to be but rules. I mean, but has the uh, rules changed since, like, now you having, like, you know, being in being parents? Because now you've had a two-year hiatus. You moved away. So it's, like, maybe it's not that there's people in your face that are sexy girls yeah. or people that you can have access to. Or do you think that if it was in the same scenario and you guys maybe lived in such of a chaotic area, either Vegas or a whatever right. kind of place, would you still be open to the same types of treatment? Sure. Yes. Yes. I would say so the rules have not changed. I would say that it's easier to have those kind of relationships or situations. It's not even a relationship. That's what I like about it. You know, like because it has no meaning. It's just exactly. It's just fucking yeah. and it's just whatever. Yeah. Whereas That's why it's, I like porn because porn is yeah. like it was drama free. We we're yeah. fucking. We're doing this. That, this is a transaction of, we're good, we're good. Yeah, and if it happens in real life, that's, I'm more likely to probably get jealous or feel insecure about it, you know, because it's real life, not. Pretend. Yeah, not in. Pretend sexual land, you know. Five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, got it. Ooh. Yeah. All right. What is your secret sexual fantasy? Or do you have one? Do you have something that you, Ooh. maybe like, you know, your husband, he had these women that he liked that, do you have something that like that on your table? That if you could have a fantasy and he could fulfill it, what would it be? I feel like I'm lucky to say I've lived a bunch of my fantasies. I don't know if I necessarily have one particular one that I haven't experienced. There's definitely some that I enjoyed more than others. I like um, being You've with, done it all. I like being with more than one man. Okay. I, I think that that's fun. And is this like a multiple like group situation or is it like a cuckold situation where your husband's watching? Or is he not there involved at all? I wouldn't even say necessarily my husband in this situation, in this situation, just, um, you know, even. You just like multiple partners. Yeah. Yeah. You like to have like a lot going on. I like women too. Like I enjoy women as well, but I think that I've had the experiences with, um, you know, two men or more than two, uh, it, it hasn't happened as often. I feel but that. I do enjoy it. Yeah. I feel like um, I've only, so I've only done probably, I think, two scenes where it was like a boy, boy, girl yeah. situ- situation. But that was a, a big no, no for my ex. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll just say ex. Uh, but yeah. that it was like, so he was like, for whatever reason, his thing was like, he didn't want me reaching for multiple penises, which made no sense to me. But I'm like, the line is strong. Oh, okay. Yeah. Whatever works for you, that's your boundary, then I'll respect yeah. it. But when I did do it, for me, it was like there was a lot going on. Um, yes. You know what I mean? But I did like the fulfillment of it like, because it was always something for you to do because it's only, it's not, you and like, I don't know, like, it's, there's it's, more for them to please you than the other way around. Yeah. In absolutely. that kind of sense. You know what I mean? But yeah. again, in, in a female situation, for me, I think it's just more stimulation mm-hmm. of things because it's more like sensory overload. Yeah. Where the other ones are just like getting fucked. Like, you know I mean? And that's where you want to sit up. Wrong, like, yeah. That's what you're going in there yeah. to play. You're like, yeah. mommy wants to get fucked. Let's not talk. <laughs> Let's not like love. Down Let's not do anything. Choke me, spit on me, slap my ass, and just fuck the shit out of me. Okay. She said it. Thank you very mm-hmm. much. See, I just know. I can you feel know. it. You know. 
Do you have sex on the first date? Yes, that's how I <laughs> met my husband. <laughs> you went on one date and you've been fucking ever since. Yeah, I think I moved in like that night. Nice. That <laughs> night? <laughs> <laughs> yeah did you yes <laughs> two Ow. strip clubs in one night had great sex and, and you're like i brought um, my cast iron skillet over the next day i was like i can use it to beat your ass or i can cook you a good meal what do you want baby get in line bitch this is what we're doing <laughs> thank you very much a woman who knows what she wants i like that though i can't like i can't that's one thing i've liked about you from afar because like i said i've never really had a conversation with you but we've had like in like loose conversations with Passing, like groups yeah. like but in like group settings too like yeah. party type things but you could always see that you're like someone that you own your own like you you own the room where you you know what you want you know that's why I was always like I like people who yeah. know what they want and it yeah. doesn't matter some people get offended or like whatever I'm very blunt myself I don't mean any harm by what I say to people I don't want to hurt to hurt people's feelings sure but I'm a straight shooter so yeah, I feel like, I like you're very that. same the same the way it's like that's just what I am fuck it yeah. I like what I like and do that's, like and that's me? perfectly do you want to be with me or and not? that's the thing it's like and that is a lot to offer because yeah. a lot of people are hide behind like I like this, but I'm just going to go cheat and do it. But I'd rather be honest and mm -hmm. open because it's going to like come to like what in the darkest comes to the light. You know what I mean? Kind of thing. Get a lot further. So it's that like, way. I'd yeah. rather be with somebody who's down with it and not mm -hmm. like make this person into someone I want them to be. Kind sure. Of thing. Like, no, we're fucking, we're all fucking. I'll get you fucked. I'm going to fuck. And this all works forever. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. What's your favorite body part that you're most proud of? Hmm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> do you say, need some help i would say my tits but i had to pay for them so they truly mine i don't know i mean you paid for them they're yours they're, they're not okay. they're not in collections they belong <laughs> to you or are they <laughs> no i definitely own those titties um yeah so your tits yeah. i like it i like my feet too i think i have cute feet or do I'm you have a told. foot fetish no i'm You're just like told to have nice nice toes do people so. suck on your feet yes it's happened. do you like it Sometimes I'm ticklish, so sometimes I get a little... All your, like, nerve endings are down there. Yeah, I mean, rub, rub them, maybe kiss on them. I don't know. Might maybe. Cool. What maybe. about sucking of the <gasps> toes? Oh, I don't know. You sound oh. scared. Oh. <laughs> I just, I remember... Is that a good noise or a bad noise, Samantha? No, it's bad. <laughs> it, not necessarily bad. That came out wrong. I just remember I had the scene that I did with um, Mick Blue and his wife, Annika. Mm -hmm. Aunt Annika. Uh, and he was into like the, or they were both like into the toe sucking and sucking his feet and all that. It just flashed. Yeah. A flash before your porno oh. eyes. You just. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I mean, teach their own. I just, I, I, I'm ticklish down there, I guess. So no, it's not my. Biggest turn thing. on. Confidence, not cockiness. Don't be confused. Ever given head while driving? Yeah. Or like all the time. Yeah. Do you, did you ever have a crush on a teacher? Mm. There's one we all thought was cute, but I don't know. It was too young. Too young. <laughs> I didn't go to college, so no. What? Let's see. What is the most? Nope, not that one either. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not for you. Mm. Have you ever been a booty call? Yeah. Tell us your favorite booty call story. I'm about to be a booty call tomorrow. Ooh. I'm excited. Exciting. Can you tell us what you think is going to happen? Is, well. it a, is it a situation situation or is it just a one-on-one -on -one or is it multiples? Because you said you like multiple people. It's partners. a situation that we've talked about and it just hasn't happened yet. So it's like the lead up, the build up, the sexual tension. So You're going to get fucked. Yeah. That's the are plan. You, are you filming it for OnlyFans or is it personal content only? Well, I don't know. I have the app don't download it for 2257. So if it happens and he wants it to be filmed, I'll, you know, get the necessary. So paper. you're prepared with a, with 2257 in case of emergency. I like it. It's a it true was, businesswoman. It was 99 cents. So I will say it was probably money well spent. It'll pay for itself. <laughs> um, it's not part of the plan, but if it happens that way, I will I will document. I like if this. needed. Okay, so you're very open in your relationship. What is an absolute deal breaker for you in a relationship? You have, you give a lot on the table. You talked about you don't like liars. You don't like this. Is there something in particular that we have some like that you know your man or your partner would do that you're just like mm, can't stay with you? I just feel like being so open and honest, you have to keep it open and honest when there's that opportunity to be that way. Don't so be no, anything but that. So no you know? shadiness. Yeah. 
like don't lie to me about what you had for breakfast like that's fucking stupid <laughs> like just don't lie I don't care big or small just no, no lying yeah. so lying is a deal breaker yeah all right next card mm, let's go for the middle ace of diamonds. diamonds spicy all right cut or uncut I guess uncut it's what I see most often <laughs> it's what I see most <laughs> often which feels better uh, I don't know that I really notice a difference. Do you? I feel like the only real difference I feel like is anal. Mm, not my thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> your that's your no no spot. <laughs> that was no. my butthole tightening up. <laughs> no. So is that something that's completely off limits for you in the bedroom? Is anal? I used to do a lot of it, but I used to drink a lot of tequila. <laughs> so <laughs> it happened. Um, my husband would take me to Mexico quite often, and then. Is that why? Is because tequila happens tequila. in Mexico? He's like, he's tequila smart. Look, she's not going to give me anal unless I take her to Mexico. Mexico, baby. <laughs> Mexico, let's go. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just, I've tried it. I don't feel like I ever was able to figure it out very well. So it just, I don't know. It's just not my thing. And I think that's, that's okay. That's okay. Yeah. I'm okay with it. I'm in the same boat. I've yeah. done it a handful of times. I've probably done it just the same as many times in movies I've been yeah. in as much as I've same. done it in my personal life. I have to really want it, and I've never really, really wanted it. Like, like when do you really first, grave anal? First, I can't remember. I think it would be a drunken tequila night. It's, like, you know, you're like spon spontaneously, we like, fucking just fuck me in the ass. Like, you know no, the fucked up thing? It was the first night I met my husband. Apparently, I let him fuck me in my ass, and I, it was a good idea. I was like, wow, I really mis misled that man. <laughs> talk about that's, being honest that's why God. your fucking skillet came over bitch he was like he should let me do anal at first night come on over baby what else can we go wrong I'm like now you're gonna cook for me this is great yeah best move in the bedroom do you have something that you think that's no what else can i outdo the you? pile driver no i'm just kidding i don't do that i don't do that i'm like i absolutely hate pile driver i'm like i'm so kidding here. no um i'm i'm uh you know i like missionary i like the romance i like making out i like hands all over each other and end up in doggies like the passion smack my ass and come on me i don't know come on me where <laughs> do you want this come on you in me on me on the ass it's everywhere fine, yeah. fair game well. <laughs> um yeah what's the longest period of time you've gone without having sex probably while pregnant it just wasn't our thing like it's beautiful to be pregnant but I don't know. It just didn't work out that way. So did you get sexually frustrated? Did you masturbate during that time? Did you just do nothing? Uh, I, well, I had my outlet with OnlyFans. So, you know, I was able to interact with my fans that way. Still making customs. They didn't know I was pregnant. I just wore outfits. You just couldn't tell. <laughs> um, yeah, so I was still able to be sexual and interact with my fans and myself that way. But it just, I mean, we had sex. It just wasn't like a huge part Thing. of our life at yeah. that point. Yeah. Least sexy part of a man? Um, I don't know. Like, un it depends on the situation. I'm just thinking, like, unkept hands or, you know, bad feet or something like that. Like, he's got know. dirt under his nails. Yeah, and like, take like care. Chewed off. And take like, care of your parts. Take care of your parts, okay? <laughs> Tune those parts. Keep them, keep them kept. Sex position that you would like to try? Is there any that you have not tried? Pile driver? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, considering we're used to being told what position to be in and for how long, I feel like I've probably tried them all. I don't know. I would have to see, do you have a Kama Sutra book or whatever it's called to see if there's any in there? We'll have, have you know, a private pod talk, a private talk. A a private lie. talk podcast one shortly hopefully never maybe, maybe soon yeah that'd be no. nice yeah i don't have like there's for me i'm like i feel like i'm the same but i'm like i've tried a lot of things like you know i'm not mm. like me i hate pile driver I'm not trying anything like crazy only so many people can pick me up you know what i mean so it's like, <laughs> it's like I, don't I, drop I, me now i'd be like that some people be like oh i'm like mm, mm. i don't really trust you not that i don't trust you but sh i'm a big bitch and i'm not I'm in the kindest way but like I'm not skinny. And There's a you know lot I mean? of performers like, that I feel like we're on the skinnier side or shorter side too. Like I would worry. Like, yeah. You're gonna drop, fucking and they would me. like try to prove a point. And I'm like, mm. there'd only be some people that I'm like, just don't pick me up. Like I don't, mm -hmm. I don't see this going well for me. Yeah. <laughs> I am not trying to take any chances. You here. should have, um, each time you have a guest come on, have them demonstrate a position. A move? Uh -huh. What would yours be? Missionary. <laughs> Let's see it. <laughs> <laughs> With you. Oh, I have to be a part of this? Yeah, to demonstrate. How do I get suckered into this? It's two people <laughs> having sex. 
true. In doggy, but then wouldn't on. but wouldn't I be doing the like showing them a move? Maybe that's the thing. I'm showing them because it's me insinuating. Yeah. You're like, yeah, just get over here. Just <laughs> <don't> touch you. <laughs> Bring it. Oh, mm-hmm. I, when I take my headphones off, we'll definitely do this towards the end so I can go over there. Because once I go over there, I can't talk and then I can't say right. anything. And then I'm like vulnerable out in space Stalling. of not of this. <laughs> Listen, I'm not afraid of anything. I'm, so I, I'm, I'm kidding. definitely a queen of big booties. I'm, I'm not afraid of booty. positions. I, I mean, I could do a lot. I'm very, I'm very I just um, think that limber. You're- your listeners might appreciate some they demonstrations will, from we, time to time. We will do a demonstration, okay. but I will do it at the end because I, I like definitely want to see. It's almost like a you know I'm envisioning in my head as it gets hotter of things. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I want to see how are we're going to have to come up with a more clever to pen- position. Penetrate me with your non dick that you're going to be a missionary. You kind of scissor this. You're a girl. You know what I mean? Because yeah. that's like the missionary for females. That's if right. You think about it. I'm down for a good scissor. That's fine too. Scissoring, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Little scissoring. Yeah. Do you have a celebrity hall pass? Or maybe it wouldn't be a hall pass, but do you have a celebrity in mind <laughs> if he came through the door and you would like want tomorrow? Oh, I, I I have to say a name. Um. Yeah, that's the point of the question, Samantha. Oh. Saying, it's, who's your celebrity <laughs> hall pass? I don't know. Is there a celebrity that you would want to fuck? That if you saw him, and, you would, and then he was game, whatever, or wasn't, whatever. He's you not know, his choice right it's now. That it's yours. actually a, a couple. Or they're, they're just so hot. I love Megan Fox and Machine Gun Kelly. I think they're so hot. I can't. Pack I hosted. He was the performer at AVN he the was. year I hosted. He's, yes. They are just a hot fucking they are. couple. They definitely radiate. Like sex, sex. Mm-hmm. Like they look. Very, they're very. Um. They, they they fit very well together. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Have you ever been cock blocked by a friend? Probably. I'm trying to think of that. Uh, <laughs> You're like, <laughs> what asshole cock blocked? Um, or have you cock blocked a friend? Probably. I'm like, no, you're not going to go have sex right now. You're going to hang out with me. How dare you? Uh, I can't think of a. a have you specific. ever had pity sex? <laughs> Why do you look at me like I know these answers? I don't know. I'm just <laughs> thinking. Uh, no, I haven't. No pity sex for <laughs> no. you. I feel like that's not a truth answer, and we want the truth here. I feel like you probably didn't want to fuck somebody, but you did anyways, maybe because of your husband and you were just being a team player, or maybe (laughs) because, you know, because, you know, as a wife, sometimes you may want situations and he may not want it and vice versa. So you still have to be a team player because then the other person will get awkward and then then nobody wants that. And then just fucks everybody that shit. You're right. You're right. So you pity fucked people. Sure. Yeah. You see how I brought that out on you? (laughs) Sure. (laughs) <laughs> this is not a sure it's yes or no okay yeah it's fine you're like damn it god my palms are so girl good. girl or guy both. um both both have you have you ever had somebody <laughs> sit on your face <laughs> yes as a man froggy style <laughs> i knew you're gonna say it um a froggy style no how did they sit on your face? Is there a new style we need to learn here? <laughs> Private talk. <laughs> Maybe I, I misanswered. Um, I don't. You never said it was a man sitting on on the face. I said I said man or, or man or no, I didn't. I thought that. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So it was a okay. woman only. But sitting on my could, face. But she could froggy style you too. True. Hmm. This whole term froggy style is new to me, so. Me too. I honestly, I just recently learned this a month ago, so I'm new to it too. But I was very intrigued because I think there's a time and place for froggy style. You know what I mean? Because sometimes like if you're in like a flat area, not a car, we have more <laughs> space. I feel like it doesn't really become froggy style because then you like straddle someone's face and then yeah. I don't know what that is. But, you know, that's more obtainable of a situation yeah i'm all about eating some ass because my thing is just that, funny to me to someone to froggy style over hover over my face for you to get your ass licked that's just funny to me it's like it's next now, level. i'll eat ass don't yes. get me wrong yes but in that position i think i would laugh <laughs> maybe not like it takes a certain pressure. level of confidence to just come but maybe in the in moment froggy style i would ass. say maybe no but like now, would you I've, really say no in the moment? No, I'm saying in that moment, oh, I wouldn't oh, think it would be weird. Yeah. But now because I've talked about froggy style, if I was ever in that moment, I would absolutely a thousand percent laugh and be like, I cannot. <laughs> take you like I've been it. waiting for this move all of my life. It's finally happening. I've been waiting for it not to happen. <laughs> That's the problem. We don't want froggy style. Oh, boy. Please don't froggy style me. I don't think I would be open to that at all. Who are you, who are you telling? Your future? 
telling them right there. They're listening to me. <laughs> future, my, my future, future my froggy. future partner, you know, best friend, husband is out there listening to Private Talk right now. I don't know who he is, but I'm manifesting him, so he's listening. So to he me knows right not. So he knows not. Don't do Ms. that. Miss Texas don't want that froggy style. Baby. I don't want it. Mm-mm. I don't think I could respect my. Yeah, I'm <laughs> gonna look at them the same sense. Clubs, we're kinky. Okay, are you kinky? I think you're kinky. Whips and chains. We know your name, Miss Samantha Saint. <laughs> Uh, do you have like a dungeon room or you that would like be that fun. kinky we could but we turned it into a gem during COVID so uh yeah I think like pre kids probably more kinky you know like dirty the little top. tie up underneath the bed mattress whip those out mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so you have lots of toys yeah is it like a like a drawer a chest I have of, like, like bags full of them bags. they're just bags Santa. like heavy sexy bags. Santa uh, yeah, I just, unfortunately, like, I don't feel like I get to use them as often as I, I would that. like to. Have you ever pegged a man? No, but the interest is definitely there. The curiosity is there. I just have never had the situation or the, the right opportunity, the partner that's, you know, or whatever, um, that's into that. I don't know. I, I don't know how to, but I'm not opposed to it. Have you ever strapped on a girl in the ass? Yes. <laughs> Why do you not remember? Was tequila was, involved? <laughs> Probably. Um, it was definitely like a dildo or some sort of toys in the ass something. Yes. Yeah. Hitachi or dildo? Hitachi. Dominant or submissive? Mm, I like both. It just both. depends on the day. Time and place. Yeah. Would you say that you are more mm-hmm. most often in your current relationship more dominant or submissive? Or does it switch out with that as well? I think it switches out with that as well. Uh, been blindfolded. Uh, been blindfolded during sex. Yes. Favorite time to have sex. At night. Most number of times you've had sex in one day. Hmm. Uh, number of people or number of times or both. Number of times and then number of people. Uh, okay. We were gonna ask that next, but while we're throw, let's throw let's it in. Throw there it now. all in there. Um. Probably number of times in a day, probably like four or five. Um, that's a lot. Not really. The, okay. I've had nine before. Okay. Well, not okay. myself personally, but on this show. Personally, actually, mm, no. Well, no, that's not that answer. I was going to say in times I've <laughs> came, but that was 13, but that wasn't that. But Oh, yeah. that's good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There was somebody who was in a mission. He was like on like, it was a long night. Oh, God, that <laughs> reminds me of something else. I was like, oh, wait, that's. Um. Okay. You so like people, how I'm like bringing all these memories back for you. Like, yeah, it's like I've, it's like you know, tingling them out of you. Bring it. To started me. tingling your lady parts earlier with the <laughs> shot. Now it's tingling you know your memory into all these beautiful. We memories. you know we are blessed to be in an industry where we have a lot of sexual experiences, and sometimes they run together, and you forget about some, and then. Like, Girl, oh, my whole yeah, like my Lord. whole adult um, career is blended together because it's yeah. just like. Before I knew it, it was 10 years. And now, like, I've been in business for a really long time. You know what I mean? And so it's like, I don't remember from what situation What year did you get in? 2006. Okay. uh, Well, I did my, so my background in the beginning. So I did a reality thing for Shane's World, which was, like, a one thing in Mm -hmm. 2006. And then I actually did, uh, that was just a one-off thing. And then in 2007, I did Bang Bros, which was actually when I actually started, started. Yeah. So 2007, technically, but I did my first scene in 2006. I but think I was like 10, 2010 or 11. I'm not really sure. Yeah. I can't remember. It's been it just time flies when you're having fun. But it's That's just right, baby. It's like, you know, it went from doing movies and then, you know, dancing and this, that, whatever. It's just like you don't realize how much time goes by. And then it's like really before does. you know, then you're like, fuck, it was two years ago. And then two years ago, it was like 10 years Fucking ago. 10 years That's what I was like yeah. thinking about when I, when I saw you. I was like thinking I really don't remember an event, but most times it would be events or something mm-hmm. like that kind of thing that I would see you in those settings. But yeah. I would say safely five years, but it may have been longer. You know what I mean? Like I've also haven't shot scenes in five years. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? So just even saying that out loud, it was weird. Right. And, but it, doesn't, it seems like it was yesterday. Like I'm, I'm always thinking about it. And then I talk about it on here and I'm like, yeah, three or four. I really don't. I think it's about four or five. I don't yeah. really know exact, but yeah. roughly in that setting, I smoke too much weed to really remember the pinpoint in that exactly. And then nowadays they re-release or they release movies after the fact that they've had them for so long. Like I think I just, just recently. Yeah. Well, I think one just came out from when I was contracted that just never because we had so much content. Oh sure. And they're like, "Can you promote this?" And I'm like, "Yeah," but I'm like, "This was so long ago." Like, but it <laughs> yeah. looks and it appears it was yesterday. But 
Sorry, guys. It wasn't. OnlyFans is the only place to get <laughs> truth content. Revealed. Have you ever been caught masturbating? No. I don't. I, not that I can remember now. Maybe for a scene setup. Uh, it doesn't count. It doesn't was like a real life. Yeah, like, <gasps> have you uh, had no. sex in public? Yes. Where? Let's tell us. Talk about it. Uh, um, um, trying to remember. I I guess like the first time was probably with my high school or fresh out of high school boyfriend, like on the top of a parking garage. Mm, okay. That was fun. I realized I like doing it outside. You know, I've done it in the woods. You like the before. exhibitionist type thing, yeah. like the fear of getting caught. Definitely. Like that kind of thing. Yeah. I like. It. Yeah. All right. Last ace is a naughty question. It's our favorite here at Private Talk. Oral sex, sloppy or clean? Sloppy. Sloppy toppy. Nice and wet. <clears throat> Craziest sex act you've ever done? I don't know how I'm supposed to narrow that down. What's one of the craziest either <clears throat> scenes or something in your personal life like that, you, that stands out? Like, yeah, you, you're, you know, adventurous. We know. We've talked about <laughs> it. We, we, here, we got a little breakdown here and there. But what's something that stands out like that's like over the top that you maybe wouldn't have done? Uh, I would definitely say one of the scenes, the, one of the beginning first scenes that I did for Jules was like a blow bang, and he had the guys all wearing um, like little camping like headlamps shining down on me. Otherwise, it was dark in the room. I couldn't tell who was who. It was hot yeah. and I'm just surrounded. Pick a dick. Uh, so I, yeah, like I couldn't. It. I couldn't tell who was who. So in those really situations, you really don't. At uh -uh. that point, it's like it doesn't really matter. At it's kind of like, guessing, really. like. Just, which one? Get Who there? are you? <laughs> I don't know, but this is fun. Yeah, that was hot. Spit or swallow? Uh, swallow. If it's in my mouth, I'll swallow it for sure. Get her done. Mm -hmm. Biggest turn off. Something that you just absolutely cannot stand. It'll just make your pussy dry. Don't fuck with it. No. It's like rude, obnoxious, like mm, heckler kind of. Bleh. Have you ever been in the act and you just like was like, no, nah, I'm not into it and just left? No. No. Down for the business. <laughs> Mile High Club, yes or no? No. Had sex no. on an airplane, no? No. That would be fun, though. Have you? I have. Nice. Yes. How do you achieve that? Especially these days. Well, it was early on. You had to do it, it private. Was a lot of time. No, it was on a Southwest flight at nice. night. It was Spoon. Um, mm, spoon City. It was actually coming home from doing the scene in Bang Bros when I first started. So there was like nice. porn gut people behind us. And then yeah. we were on the same row and then we just spooned. And then like we kind of, I didn't fuck like all the way, but I was fucking. And then like the lady, like the flight attendant kept going back and forth. So I was getting really nervous. I'm like, oh, she I'm knows nervous. what's up. She and knows. Then we have a blanket over us. Yeah. And then, so I was like, I, I just turned around. And then he was like, I'm going to finish. So he jerked off in the pillow and did his nice. thing, you know? Fine. Well, Maybe one day. But yeah, nowadays it's really difficult because everybody has phones, people are doing whatever. Like, you know, this was back in, way back in my, so fucking old. <laughs> a long um, time ago. In 2006, you know what I mean? Yeah. So different times. Different time. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, I would love I to check that one off my list. It just hasn't happened, so. Not yet. Mm -mm. Not yet. Never say never. Does universe. size matter? Um, to a certain extent, I mean. So what's your favorite penis? If you could pick one to sit on, what would it be, Samantha? Mm, a solid six, seven incher, nice and thick. Nice gonna and get thick. Her done. Mm -hmm. She's going to get it done. Yeah. Mm, favorite place to have sex? My bed. Have you ever called somebody out for having a boner in public? that I know or don't know or just in general. Like your husband, a friend, like maybe you were an, an acquaintance that you were getting in a sexual thing or maybe you made it, you know, hard in public on purpose. I mean, I'm sure it's happened. I, I'm, I don't know if I've directly called them out. I, if I saw it, I probably grabbed it. So I, I probably know. grabbed it. Are you loud or quiet during sex? Uh, probably towards the quiet side at the beginning and then work up to so are the, you a dirty talker or are you just a moaner and a groaner kind of depends thing? on the day depends on the day and how much wine i've had have you ever been <laughs> attracted to your partner's best friend sure have you fucked the best friend no no boundaries <laughs> <laughs> we all want to stay friends you know what i mean there's some that are like you know close like family so that'd be weird have you ever worn wireless panties while at dinner no 
never maybe you should try it have you have you Sounds no fun, but, but people talk about it so i put you know what i mean like mm-hmm. i don't think i could because i don't like being in, not in control of my own Oh, my oh, and just like a, whatever. <laughs> yeah. But people say it's hot. I mean, it's a whole control issue too. You know what I mean? Sure. Obviously, you would hope your partner wouldn't make you fucking, <laughs> you, you know, do something make you like feel yeah. like so uncomfortable that you couldn't take it or scream or orgasm really loud, like you know the Harry meets Sally type situation. Yeah, no. But you know, I would let, I would do it to my partner. <laughs> I would be the one who controlled it. I would be yeah. all day. I'd be like, but I Sorry. also wouldn't be super crazy until the end, like until you're about to get the check, and then it doesn't matter. Yeah, you still gotta eat. Then and hang it's out, like you know? game yeah. on, game yeah. on. Have you ever faked an orgasm? Yes. You're like all the time. Can we not <laughs> all the time, <laughs> especially not now. But. Can you tell us? Can you can we hear what your orgasm sounds like? Um. <laughs> Put me on the spot. Yeah, we do that here. Um, uh, oh, fuck. Yes, right there. Oh, fuck. You're going to make right me come? Yes. Right there. Yes. yes. Oh, fuck. Yes. <laughs> oh, fuck. That was good. Oh, that was so good. Man, I believed it, guys. I, I believed it. Wait, I have to do that. That was without touching myself. I could do a lot better, like... Private talk. Sometimes a girl's got to fake it. <laughs> Do we? <laughs> I mean, sometimes if I want to stop a situation, I totally will. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sometimes yeah. you just need to like get it done. Yeah. Get yeah. it done. Get it done. Well, I feel like you passed my test. I feel like I, you know, I didn't go too hard on you. I use lube. I didn't spit on it. I gave, you know, something big, you know. All it the was big, naturally all lubricated. All the things that you wanted. Is there anything that you want to ask Miss Texas? Is there anything that you want to get off your little sexual chest? Do you want to show me missionary? What are you trying to do? What, what, Come do this missionary with me. Show the people what they want. Say, please, Miss Texas. Please, Miss Texas. There Come you go. That's missionary. what I like to hear. All right. Is that what they really want to see as missionary, though, with us? That's what you said. You said this play this whole, I'm playing your game. Okay. I don't ever get off my queen throne over here. I'm doing this for you. Oh, I'm doing I love this over it. here. I'm going to dark territory over here on this big blue couch. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going to happen. Do I just but I back, like it. Lay back for you. I mean, what am I doing? Are you showing me or who's showing you? I think you just hop <laughs> hop on top. So you want me to show what missionary is? My jeans to are you? too tight to do anything else. So oh, you heard her. Okay, guys. So this is what missionary is. She says I'm supposed to show my guests here. Show maybe, that big old booty. Maybe the after dark guest. I'll show every guest a missionary position. Some sort but of sex position. I don't think that maybe, okay, wait, I don't know if this will go over here. All right. Hold on. Take these off. Just lay back. We're going back. We're going deep. Oh, she's trying to do this cruiser thing. See, what's big is he, he do this. He doesn't even know what he's doing. I don't know. Oh, oh yes. And then I grab it, right? The, oh, oh. Right? You've done porn before. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> this, is a, this is a backward, big booty side mish. I think I just made that up. But, you know, we that do this out. over here. Over Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, after dark. But real missionary is like You like that private talk. <laughs> See, we're here with Samantha Saint, and we're on the drums. <laughs> Ooh, you see, she's making music for us here at, at After Dark. Can you sing a song? Let's hear it. Ooh, bum bum. All right, private talk. I'm going to do my sign off over here the today. Because, you know, after dark episodes get a little crazy over here. That's right. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. Make sure you subscribe to this episode. Make sure you comment below. And you better must follow Miss Samantha Saint. Thank you so much for coming on Private Talk. I hope you had an amazing time. Make sure you tell us what your Instagram is so we can follow you. Check out all of my links on samsaint.com. All of them. All right, Private Talk, you <laughs> heard her. Make sure you give her a follow and see what she is up to. And I hope that... um. We will meet again very, very soon. See you later.